Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got Messy Mansion Plate MM20 for Angela. I've already got my base coat on. I've got Neltix Formula 2 on and this is OPI's DS Radiance. It's a one coat silver. It's got a fabulous formula. It doesn't leave any streaks. I am thrilled with this polish. I am capping my end real quick. And I'm going to be doing some dotting, kind of making a jelly sandwich here for my base. And I'm just using the black and the white from Funky Fingers, which is Gesso and Dark Knight, I believe. And I'm just using a dotting tool going in and and dot, dot, dot. Different size dots, no real rhyme or reason, because we're just going to dot this one up. And... We're going to do a layer of dots and then, well here we're going to finish up and put some more dots in. And then we're going to be using the OPI Primarily Yellow from the Color Paints collection. Um, just going over the dots, it, jelly sandwich in them. We're going to jelly sandwich on. And I'm being very careful because my dots are trying to smear. But, you know, in hindsight, after I got done, not a big deal. I got some smearage on some of them. I'm not too worried about it. And now I'm going in with some more dots. Just kind of staggering them around. I'm going to do a bunch of black ones. And then I'm going to go in and do some more white ones too. It's okay for you to overlap them on this if you want to. Um, you know, it's, it's going to be kind of covered up with some stamping so it's not really you're not really going for a specific design with this not really I'm getting a little bit of stringiness because I'm using nail polish for my dots um, but again that's okay it'll be all right um, for this design some designs it just makes me crazy when I get that stringy mess going on I'm just trying to fill them all in and I am trying to let these dry in between the coats, but with dotacures and dotting, they stay kind of tacky for a while. So here we go. We're going to apply another coat of primarily yellow over the top of those dots. And we're going to top it with some Pro FX Quick Dry Top Coat. Get it to dry down for the stamping stage of this one. But Angela had asked me to use this Messy Mansion plate, and um, this one particular image I'm using today is one of my, it's the reason why I bought the plate. And I've been notified by several of my friends here on YouTube that they have also purchased that, that plate because of me. So um, that's what it looks like on its own. And here is Messy Mansion 20. I actually love two images on this plate the one I'm going to use, and then that rose one my favorites. I'll be using my Beauty Big Bang Stamper and Nicole Diaries NS01 and my Clear Jelly Scraper card. I'll also be using the IMK Peel Protect um, just to make sure that I don't have too big of a mess to clean up here in the end. Um, my Nicole Diary polish is starting to get low so and it's getting thicker because I've used it quite a bit and um, so I am having to cover that image completely with the polish now and on this one I'm going to move this image around I'm not placing it on the nails exactly the same on every nail I'm kind of turning the image and like this next one's going to go on diagonal kind of and you know just to give it a little bit of difference they'll all be very similar but not exactly the same they wouldn't be exactly the same anyway because I'm not that good <laughs> But I like moving images like this around. It just makes makes them look cool to me. This is one of my favoriteest images on all of my plates. It's just one of those that I always go back to. Because I just think it's so cool. You can do all kinds of stuff. You can do water marbles underneath it, dot cures. I mean, just gradients everything looks good under this stamped image it's just such a good one 
And no, I'm not paid by Messy Mansion. They have no idea who I am. I only own three of their plates, so I'm not on their radar. <laughs> when I believe in something, I tell you guys about it. There we go. I've done some cleanup with some tape off the camera. And now I'm going to go in with my cleanup brush and just tidy this up just a little bit more. Now raise your hand if you thought when I got started that this was going to be another hot mess. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. I'm going to top it with some Born Pretty of the Smudge Free Top Coat. Keep that white from smearing. Like I said, I wasn't worried about what was underneath being smeared a little bit, but I don't want that white stamp design to smear. I'm going to let that dry. Now I'm going to top it with some Posh Top Coat to seal this manicure all in. Nice, glossy, a quick dry top coat. Posh is my favorite. So there we go. I need a little sunshine in my life, so that's why we went with yellow nails today. It's been raining here so much. So I have a swatch photo coming up here real soon. I would love to hear your thoughts on this one. Leave me a comment down below. I want to thank you for watching, and until next time, be good to yourself. I'll talk to you soon.